Shut up and sit down. Hey friends, I'm Simon. I'm Ellie. And if you enjoy our videos, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell thing. That would be very kind of you indeed. And tonight, as with every night, we're surprising each other with trailers that we've not yet seen and filming our typically stupid reactions to those. So what do we have coming up next? Well, coming up next, you know, it's been all over the entertainment news recently that Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox are a couple, and a very schmoozy couple. There's lots of photos of them all over the place and honestly good for them like the world needs more love however what I did not know is that the two of them are starring in a movie together with none other than Bruce Willis what and it comes our out friend Bruce. our buddy Bruce Bruno himself and it comes out in just a little over a month in the middle of July. Wow. When, hopefully, at least in the United States, movie theatres might actually be open again. So, I am really, really intrigued to see, I mean, first of all, Machine Gun Kelly, who's a musician, in a movie. I'm also intrigued to see Megan Fox in this, this sounds like more of a thriller movie, but Megan Fox alongside Bruce Willis, I think, is really interesting chemistry as That's well. That's a fun choice. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead, check out the trailer for this movie. If you want to see what we think about about it then stick around but for now let's go let's go you belong to me you understand what i'm saying well Don't lift up that skirt no oh nice take that boyfriend seven yes. times in the past 26 months women have been brutally murdered and dumped like garbage along interstate 10. He's hurting girls. Right now. We're the FBI. What the hell do you want at my crime scene? We had set up a prostitution sting here last night. I got a 20-year-old girl with a skull cracked. Nice target last night. Does he have a name? You can't reopen this. You gotta move on. Nobody's ever stood up for those girls. Headquarters pulled the plug on us. I'm doing that sting tonight. You wanna know the truth? You're gonna get me killed. Wow. You're a bona fide serial killer. White male, truck driver, mid thirties. Who was he? he? He tried to cuff one of my girls. He had a lightning bolt on his truck. My God. He's gonna want to try again. All right, he's moving. I'll go ahead. Bombardo. Suspect not the target. Yikes. Yikes. She promised me. This is gonna be bad. I need to do my job. I need to see your cameras. Who's that? Where do they go? Where does it take? Somebody there. He's gonna kill you tonight. Do everything you can to get out. No! Always walk through that door. Today, police, don't move! We got the wrong guy. Looks like you live alone. I just want to keep an eye out for you. Oh no. Oh my goodness, Midnight in the Switchgrass coming on July 23rd. What did you think? It's given me so much anxiety, I hate it already, but I think we might have to watch it. It looks awesome. And you know what, our children are now teenagers and are really into this kind of thriller, drama, you know, tracking down a serial killer type of a movie. I think this would actually be more up there, Ali, than it mm, would yours. Yeah. Yeah, i got to say as well, I think you've got to address the elephant in the room, and maybe elephant's uh, the wrong term, but the start of that trailer, where it's looking up Megan Fox's skirt, 
I mean, goodness. Was that necessary? I I don't know if it was necessary, but I had no complaints, I have to say. <laughs> she, I mean, she is so underrated. I mean, looks absolutely stunning still. And you're talking, what, like more than 15 years since she was in that Transformers movie. And she still, she looks like she hasn't aged a day. Aww. And and actually, I thought Machine Gun Kelly looked great in this as well as this kind very of very menacing. Yeah, this like horrible pimp character who, and she just kicks the crap out of him in the first second of the I was trailer. Really impressed with his acting. I think uh, Megan Fox is an incredible actor, and I think it's um, she is often criminally underrated in um, movies that she's been in for various reasons that I feel strongly about. But she is incredible, and kind of acting against her. Um, is a challenge, especially, you know, if you're in a relationship and your girlfriend's got to pretend to beat the crap out of you. I think that's kind of fun. But I just think they 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 work really well on screen together as well, even though they are kind of like antagonists. Um, it was kind of fun to see that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I thought, yeah, there was a definite chemistry that actually came across on screen and was pretty cool. And you know what, Bruce Willis, I mean, I wouldn't go as far as to say that he never ages because he definitely looks older these days, but he certainly is not one of those actors who looks too old for a movie like this. I mean, yeah, and we've seen movies like The Little Things recently that had Denzel Washington in. This had a really similar vibe, I thought, and Bruce Willis's character is a really kind of similar character to Denzel's character in that movie, and they're probably of an age, the two of them, and they've both got that kind of grizzled old detective look about them, so... Yeah, I could not be more stoked about this one. Would you watch it, though? Is it too spooky for you? I think I could watch it. Wow. Yeah, it's stressful, but um, I, I trust them to give us a satisfying conclusion. That would yeah. be my main worry. Yeah, and I've got to say, and no spoilers here, but The Little Things, I actually thought the ending was really, really disappointing. Whereas this feels to me a little bit more like Silence of the Lambs style, where, you know, she's being kidnapped and they're rushing against the clock to try to save her. And I suspect, knowing Megan Fox, she'll probably be quite capable of saving herself. But hey, that's just my theory. But yeah, it definitely feels like I'm hoping they're going to save the day and uh, that serial killer's going to get his comeuppance and it will be a satisfying putting a bow on it and not a what's in the box oh, kind of an no. ending. That would suck. Yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, I guess if we're theorizing about how it ends, then it means that we must at least want to watch it start. So uh, I would say the trailer has done its job and the dorks have been successfully ambushed in this case. So really, that's all we got time for for tonight. So you know how often we do this, though. Every day. Every day, regardless of what's in the box. Like serial YouTubers. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we're copycats of the people who have been there before us. But either way, we will see you tomorrow, friends, on the next Dork Trailer Ambush. Peace out, nerds. Bye, serial killers. <laughs>